Hey guys, and welcome to the final part of my Baraka tier overview, where we take a look at all the items you can buy from Barrow. This is sort of in preparation for the special Barrow visit that will be happening during Tenocon on a special relay that you only get access to if you buy the digital Tenocon ticket, where Baraka tier will be selling his entire inventory. So today we're gonna finish it off by taking a look at all the miscellaneous items you can buy from Barrow and do a full fly through of both the Captura scenes. And we're gonna start it off with the one item that I forgot to add into the first video which is the Kitir color palette which you can get for 300,000 credits and 150 ducats. Now this one is kind of funny because I forgot about it when I was putting the list together to begin with and I added it in later. Then I forgot to record it and I had to record it later. And then when I finally put the video together, I forgot to put it in there as well. Next up, we have the Kitir Fireworks, which you can buy 10 off for 100,000 credits and 50 decades. And it's kind of exactly what you would expect. A fun little item that you can use from your gear wheel. Then we have the three Assassin Beacons. So these are Nuka Hunter, the Stalker and the Gru Strike 3 one, which will summon their respective Assassin when used in a mission. And all of these cost 125,000 credits as well as 200 decades. Now I unfortunately don't have any of these on me so I can't show you how they work but they're pretty straightforward. You simply put them into your gear wheel, go into a mission, use the beacon from your gear wheel and it will spawn the appropriate assassin. Now as you can see these are one time use only so you only get one assassin per beacon and then it's gone and the stalker one will summon stalker until you unlock shadow stalker from which point it will start summoning shadow stalker. Then we have the booster, so a 3 day resource, credit and an infinity booster and these are not really worth buying unless you really don't like trading with other people because as you can see the market price for a 3 day booster is only 4D platinum. Which means that a lot of the time if you just sell the prime parts for platinum rather than ducats you can get these cheaper. And I would generally not go for these during the special Baraketeer visit because there are far better items you can spend your ducats on. Then there are the two mod packs, the Falcon and Dragon one, which you can get for 50,000 credits and 250 ducats and 100,000 credits and 500 ducats respectively. And these are way too expensive for what they do because they just give you random mods. And while you can technically get some rare mods from these, they are so expensive. It's just not worth it. Just don't spend your ducats on these, like ever. Then he also sells three exclusive relics. He has Neo 01 for 55,000 credits and 125 ducats. Axie V8 for the same price as the Neo 01 and then Axie A2 for 45,000 credits and 50 ducats. And all three of these have a combination of Forma, Ordinata Prime, Volt Prime, Lex Prime and Aklex Prime parts. With the Axie A2 relic being focused entirely on the Lex and Aklex Prime with Forma sprinkled in as well. And the final two miscellaneous items you can buy from Barrow are a blue potato which is the one you use on weapons and this one is horrifically overpriced. It costs 400,000 credits and 700 ducats. There is a reason why he only had this once and it's never come back since. It was just so overpriced that no one really bought it. The reason for that is that it's just so much easier to get in other ways. You can either buy it for 20 platinum in the market, which is super cheap compared to 700 ducats. You just sell a couple of junk prime parts and ta-ta, you have a blue potato. But you can also get it from a sortie, from Gift of the Lotus alerts, from some invasions, a couple of tactical alerts or even as a daily login reward. And the final miscellaneous item is the Corrupted Bombard Spectre Blueprint, which you can get for 50,000 credits and 100 ducats. Now this summons a Corrupted Bombard and a Corrupted Drone Spectre to aid you in combat but it's a one time use blueprint and you only get 5 Spectres per blueprint so it's actually really expensive for what it does. So you're basically spending 10,000 credits and 20 ducats every time you summon one of these which is why I think they're not really worth it unless you have so many credits and ducats you don't know what to do with them anymore. And now let's do a fly through of the two Captura scenes that you can buy from Barrow. The first one being the Orokin Tower Extraction scene, which you can get for 175,000 credits and 325 ducats. This is the final room you get in the Void Tile set with the stairs leading up to extraction. And that is it. It does not have any of the side rooms, so it's just this one big room. And the second one is the Inaros tomb scene, which you can also buy for 175,000 credits and 325 ducats. And this one has the entirety of the tomb that you go through during the Sons of Inaros questline. Now this fly through takes quite a while, the tomb is rather big, so it's about 4 minutes or long. So I'm just gonna let it play and I wanna say I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.